uh, we're back with Rabbi Friedman. Um, uh, the segment uh, we're going to be talking about the union of Deir Shvi and about the Rebbe even after Gimel Tamas, the Deir Shvi continues. So, Rabbi Friedman, if I can ask you a few questions on that and a little, uh, let's get into a conversation about that. Be very helpful to everyone watching. You mentioned that uh, mentioned in the other segment that we did earlier that the, the difference between the Rebbe and all the other Rabbeim even and all has come become other tzaddikim. That when you go to the Rebbe for uh, to the ale, the Rebbe is waiting for you. This is your Rebbe, and this is your this is our generation's Rebbe, and therefore he's uh, he has the achrayis for us, and therefore he waits for us. We go to a different tzaddik's uh, kever or a different ale, so it's a mokum kodesh, and you have to be careful. You have to do you know everything that, but it's uh, he's not waiting for you. So you elaborated on that quite well. I just want to ask you, as we move into this, uh, to the topic of Taka of Deir Shvi, what does that mean that 26 years, or for that matter, one year, after Gimel Tammuz, this is still the Deir Shvi, this is still, the Rebbe is still waiting for us. In other words, uh, a lot of people wonder, was, you know, we had seven Rebbes, and I'll, I'll, I'll say out the question, we had seven Rebbes, and there were seven Histalkusen, of the Alatevis, Tess and so on, and Gimel Tamas. We all, we, we all, of course, know and feel, and uh, we have the Hargoshe, that Gimel Tamas is, it's a, did not end on Arab, it did not end Deir Ashvi Chas Visholim. The Rebbe is Hu Bachayim, as the Rebbe said it many times, and this is still the Rebbe's generation, and this is our Rebbe, just like in Tavshin Yudalif, in Tavshin Yud, in Tavshin Nun, in Tavshin Sama, Tavshin Pei. But it would be good if we could have a little bit of a conversation about this to be bring it down to Asis Hasbara a little bit, if possible. What does that taka mean? Why can't, why is it necessarily uh, true that it's, there's going to be, there's only data, there's only seven datas until Mashiach comes, it's the Rebbe's deir, and the Rebbe's the Nasi biz Mashiach kum. What does that mean, and why do we, what, what's the you say for that? Uh, first of all, I'd like to hear what you think. <laughs> But, but I think that in the words themselves, you have the answer. Why is this the day Rashvi until Mashiach comes? Also, if I can add to the question, why of all the Rabbeim, only the Rebbe referred to the Friedrich Rebbe as Nasi Hadar? And the Chassidim in the early years, Complained about it to the Rebbe. They don't want to hear it. You're the Nasi, and the Rebbe ignored it. But why, Taki? So it's possible. Can't say, if, you know, for sure. The Friedrich Rebbe, in his last years, Said la alta la chuva la alta la guula. He started writing a sefer Torah la kabul pnei Mashiach. In other words, the Friedrich Kirebbe started the project of bringing Mashiach ikir shchina lamata. Friedrich Kirebbe. Friedrich Kirebbe, right? La alta la guula. Ah, la alta la guula. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Rebbe saw himself as simply carrying out the Friedrich Rebbe's project. A Nossi is not just an individual. A Nossi is an Inyan. What was the Alter Rebbe's Inyan? 
whatever it was, it ended. And a new Nasi came with a new Indian. This was Chachma, this was Bina. Mittel Rebbe did what a Mittel Rebbe does. And then it was the next. Chaber, Chassidus, whatever it was. Huh? The Rebbe, Rebbe Rashab said, Communism, nicht mein Indian. This is your thing. Yeah. So each of the Rabbeim, it seems, completed an Indian. The next Nasi, the next Rebbe, started a new Indian. Only by the Friedrich Rebbe, it seems, and the Sefer Teile is the strongest symbol of that. He started a Sefer Teile and didn't finish it. So the Rebbe's Edelkeit, on, on Bittel, this is nothing new. I'm just doing what... Uh, so the Indian hasn't changed. The Indian is to bring Mashiach. It's not a new Indian. So a Deir, which is also a good question. What's, what's meant a Deir? This is the Deir. <laughs> Did I ever said this to my grandfather? <laughs> that, that he was the Deir, and I'm saying it to my grandchildren. That they are the Deir. So this is like a 500-year Deir? <laughs> yes. Like the Deir Hashmad. Deir Hashmad was 500 years. So why is it called a Deir? Because it was the same Indian. It was the Deir Hashmad. It was the Tikkun for the Aved Zara that happened in the Beis Hamikdash for 500 years. So since the, the Indian is to bring Mashiach, the day Hashvi is supposed to bring Mashiach, then how can you have another Nasi before Mashiach? So until Mashiach comes, you can't, it's not the next, not the next project. If it's not the next project, not a new Nasi. Not a new day. So the Aveda the shlichas of the neshamas from my grandfather to my grandchildren, it's all in Indian. And it's the Rebbe's Indian. Now, the Rebbe says that Friedrich Rebbe started the project, how can I claim it to be mine? But we see such a huge difference, like the difference between the Deir Hashvi and Deir Hashishi. Whoever the Deir Hashishi was by Moshe Rabbeinu, he could build a Mishkan. It wasn't Shaykh. The seventh is so different from the first six even from the sixth. So we see the huge dif this difference. So by us, it's not the Fiddik Rebbe. It's only the Rebbe. The, the truth isn't that in the Maime Bosulagani, that's the whole word. The Rebbe says it's a huge difference. The Rebbe says it's a huge difference. It's not, it's, it's not a tool, the, like you said, it's like it's inside the. It's not uh, whatever that we don't want it. We didn't ask for it. It's a, but it is the pale dust of the mitzvahs that data should be is not data shish. Is it like you're saying? There's a huge difference. It's not only we see it. See, the Rebbe put it that way that uh, that there's a there's a difference between data kolashvin chaviv and whatever that means for us. I don't know, but but azay the mitzvahs and uh, so there's a big difference between data shish and data shvi. 
I mean, you can say the Sheish is Mechel and then Shabbos. Well, there's obviously a huge difference over there. Which, uh, and the Rebbe spoke about this union of Deir Ashvi. That's a Ainu Chaviv and Chavivin, which seems to me that it's a Psazam in Lumailum uh, Tam type of Chavivus. Uh, in other words, the Rebbe said, did the Rebbe have explained why? Deira Shvi is Chaviv more than Deira Shishi and Deira Chamishi. Was there ever explanations about that? Other than the fact that we're the ones that uh, bring the Shechin but uh, but it sounds like the, the Shvi and Chavivin is uh, it's other tool, and not because of what they did, and not because of what they're going to do. Because and that that was the reason they're going to bring the Shechin Lamata is because they are Chaviv. It's not that they're Chaviv because they bring the Shechin Lamata. So what is this chvivus? What what is what's, what's it does the data shvi? What is the uniqueness of it? So let, let's take a use Shabbos and Chul as the uh, model. The six days have something in common, right? They're all pretty much the same, and the shvi is completely different. The Sheisha Simei Achil is an Aveda and Shabbos is an Aveda. The Aveda of the Alter Rebbe through all the generations to the Friedrich Rebbe, the Aveda was to be Mevada of the world. Like in, like in the six days of the week, you, you do the Malachas, you get involved with the world to elevate the world. So let's say the Al Terebu Gimacht Chsidim into Pnimim. Nishap Malochim, no Makifim, no Mofsim, Pnimim. Awesome people. The Chsidim, the Al Terebu Chsidim, awesome, frighteningly huge human beings. Let's say about one of the Alter Rebbe's chassidim, there is a chacham be'etzem kaya chachmosu. I have no idea what that means. Eh? Zalman Zezma? What is a chacham be'etzem kaya chachmosu? The nefesh has seichon. The nefesh contains a lot of seichon. We try to tap into it and squeeze out a little bit into our conscious mind. Chacham be'etzem kaya chachmose means he knew everything his nefesh knew. That is scary. <laughs> anyway, whatever. The titles uh, that, that these chassidim had. It's awesome. The Pill of Paracha, Zalman Zezma, and even uh, Shmuel Munkus. It's awesome people. So, what was that? Elevating the Nivra. Then you had in the later generations, Chsidim Bali Mesidis Nefesh. Again, awesome. Scary human beings. They scared the communists out of <laughs> out of their position. That was those were the six days of creation. So what do they all have in common? Alias Hanivra, Alias Ilamus, elevating the created being to an incredible refined state. That's what you do in the six days of the week. It comes Shabbos. Those things that were impressive during the week, you're not allowed to do on Shabbos. That's a change. It's a radical change. So the hour before Shabbos, if you're baking a kugel, you're doing the biggest mitzvah in the world. The sun sets, 
baking a cuckoo is now the biggest Aveda in the world. So the difference is really infinite. But what is the Aveda of Shabbos? If it's not elevating the Nivra, it's being Mamshech the Beja. Shabbos Hayyim Lashem. Now the focus is not what the Nivra, what the human being can be. Now the focus is what does the Ebrishta want? If I'm not mistaken, I heard this also from the Rosh Hashiva in, in, uh, in Montreal, from Rabbi Isaac. He told me that when the Alte Rebbe learned a Mishnah, he would begin by saying, Zog the Mishnah. Right? It's a Jewish custom. Our teacher in Bedford would get so upset if we missed out those words. Start reading the Mishnah. He said, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> You just start reading a Mishnah. You have to say, Zog the Mishnah. And then when you say the Gemara, you have to say, Freg the Gemara. And then when you read the Rashi, you have to say, Taich the Rashi. He wouldn't let you get away with it. So the Isaac told us, Al Terebu would say, Zog the Mishnah. Freg the Gemara, Taich the Rashi. Then he would look up the subject in Shulchan Aruch on, on what's the halacha in this, on this. He would open the Shulchan Aruch, what would he say? He would say, On yet, thus will Ratzon Elin. Okay, that was all nice. A pilpul, a maize, meta taich, meta kashe, meta. Okay, now. Vos vil de rebeshte. That's Shabbos. So, what happens on Shabbos? If you want to eat fish and there's bones in the fish, you're not allowed to take out the bones and leave the meat. You have to take the meat and leave the bones on Shabbos. In other words, the emphasis during the week is sur mira, get rid of what's bad in you. The emphasis on Shabbos is take what is good, the bad, you leave it alone and it will fall apart. This is the data shri. The data shri is hasei toiv. What's going to be with the ra? It'll fall away. It's a big chiddush. And you see it very clearly when people would come in previous generations and ask a shayla, Machshavazaris, what should I do with Machshavazaris? There would be a whole avoda. You have to learn a maimer, you have to do this, you have to do that, and you have to. And if you actually did an avoda, oh, you have to fast and you have to. Come to the Rebbe with the same question. The Rebbe is Shabbos Dik, right? It's Deir Ashri. And you come to the Rebbe and you say, there are bones in the fish. What should I do with the bones? <laughs> and the Rebbe says, what bones? What's for our bones? Loss up the bones. As on the head. Take the meat. Take the good part. <coughs> What about the bones? It's not your business with the bones. What are you th we're talking about bones for? Hesach It's a very different approach. Like the difference between weekday and Shabbos. So what is the Dei Rashvi? The Dei Rashvi is yet's the Geblibn only the, the, the evil of, of Klippas Neugah. Klippas Neige, the Pshat, if you don't turn on the light, it's not light. It's not the Klippa of, of communism. For the Klippa of communism, you have to fight it. You have to die fighting it. You have to suffer horrible tortures without, until you killed it. Because it was like the Cheshach in Mitzrayim. The Cheshach of this generation, it's pushed the absence of light. And that's why the Rebbe gave so much light for bringings 
endless publications, endless instruction on every detail, endless. I, the bad part, this is Shabbos. The bad falls away by itself. So the Rebbe says, go, go on the street, put on film with people. Uh, in the street? Shouldn't take him into a shul nearby? No, in the street. Megalvasa, uh, maybe? No. Uh, if he's wearing shorts or no shirt, if he has tattoos, <laughs> None of these things are important. In the six days, you had to be sur meira first. Then you could do a seitaif. But when it's Shabbos, Shabbos is the Ebesh this day. Now the focus is on him. You're not what you should be. This is not interesting on Shabbos. On Shabbos, it's what the Ebishter wants. What does the Ebishter want? So two things. First of all, how would we know? Can you ask a Rav Shaila? The biggest Rav in the world. Come to the biggest Rav in the world and say, is this the Deir <laughs> How would he know? How would he know? In this generation, can we do the Asaytay first? How would any Rav know? How would anybody know? Only a Rebbe can say such a thing. So two things. First of all, the change is a fact. The world became Shabbos Dik. It's the Deir Hashri. And therefore, in reality, things are now possible that were not possible a generation ago. But factually, somebody today wants to sit and dive in six hours, Shachas. It's not going to work. You don't have Kaychas for that. The Rebbe Shabbos Chassidim were given kaychas for that. Take the Rebbe Shabbos Chassidim and send them into uh, into Little Rock, Arkansas. It's not going to work. Today's Chassidim have kaychas for that. So there's a there's a, a, a change in reality. How would we know this without a Rebbe? And then. If there is a change in reality, how do you handle it? Again, how would you know without a Rebbe? And so, so, so we started with the union of Koloshfin Chavivin. I asked, I said, what's the, what's the Pshat Chavivin? Is this, this the Nakudeh because it's a Psavashvi Ratsisa Bevikidash, the Psa holy. It's a holy day, so it's a holy generation, and it's a holy Rebbe, and Alts come to Zaman Alts Ainu from Helikite, and it's a and Sadem is that's the Chavivus. The Chavivus is like the Chavivus of Shabbos. Shabbos is the uh, Inatainuk. Mm-hmm. That we turn our attention to the Ebushta, even though we're not complete. That's that's mitzvah achvilus. It's a tire kite. It's not a grace kite. Let me. Uh, what 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 have you been thinking on this? Subject? On the subject of Deir Shvi after Gimel Tammuz. Lead us into the, which is really the Indian. I mean, I, I think a lot about this Indian of Huba Chaim. Because 
We need a nasi. The, 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 um, on a rabbi kemenish, it's impossible to be a, a, a to have a real cash with the Ebishtu without a rabbi. And the rabbi said, emphasized greatly the end, the mamish in the last few years that the parsha from Hey Tevis, the rabbi spoke about this in it very, very passionately, very strongly. And the rabbi, as Huba Chaim, it's not shy Hametzis that the uh, Although we know that the Rebbe was talking about the Friedrich Rebbe, but, but, but uh, for us, let's talk about after Gimel times that it relates to the Rebbe. Um, I, you know, it's hard to put it, it's, 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 a, it's a mysterious thing. We know what, it's, uh, we know what the Alter Rebbe says in Tanya about, uh, about the Yatir Mepchayeri and all that. But Huba uh, Chaim is Mustama different for it, and the way you ask me how I see it, what do I think about it? If you ask me a, 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 a few months after Gimel Tamuz, I would say it, I know it can be different. It's not Shaykh to be different. So I believe everything that was stated, and, and, and I'm going with it. But if you're sitting today, 25 years later, 26 years later, and you look, and you see the Mitzvahs around you, if you're not uh, denying the Mitzvahs around you, you can see the Inyan of the Hamchosha, the Pasha, the Inyan B'muchesh, that the Rebbe is alive. You see it, Mamish Pichute. I would say furthermore, I would say that what was written in the Alter Rebbe's Tanya for 200 years, and it was in a book, and it was never... It was there a great emphasis on that period of Tanya always, but there was in it, but it was in them. And uh, maybe there wasn't a need for the emphasis on that in Matgat Rebbe, and you uh, went off to the next Rebbe, the next Nasi. But I, of course, we see that the Rebbe brought this, we see now that this period of Tanya was taken out of a book and brought down Lamata, a read Lamata bar, it's like Kippushot uh, Mamish, that it's, it's, it's you see it, the Rebbe, the, the life of the Tzaddik, of the Nasi, of the Rebbe, is, is real, alive, b'muchish. you see it in the Talmidim, you see it in, the, in, the, in this generation, you see it in the, in the Yatir, in the, in the growth, and in, in, in everything that's going on. I mean, I, I, that, I mean, feel the Rebbe, I'm a lep, that people are living with the Rebbe, shoot a mamish just like before, and sometimes even more, in a way. So it's not mysterious anymore. It's mysterious, maybe, we, we, how does this work? How is this mess happening? How is this miracle happening? But that that it's happening is not even is, is not a shine anymore. It's not you don't need a moon for this anymore. You should see it. If you're not blind, and you you know what you're looking at, you you, you realize. Well, what else is this? Other than that, Vegan, what is the when you look for aces for it? When you have a, when you're sitting by Fabrengo with Talmidim and Talmides or whatever, whatever, whoever it may be, they say, what does it mean? How do you feel? So, so, so forget about that. You know, forget that skull now for a minute. What's main point who behind? It's not, I don't know if that's important for me to know how that works, Lomail and Meum Soyen, what that means exactly. How in the Shama that's not the, which, which, which is the Shama only right now, Akupan bin Mukha, what we see, is Bahaim down here in this physical world? What does that mean? What I would like to know is what does what's the takeaway for, for me, for you, for everyone, for young for young Bahrim, for young girls that that, that want to live with the Rebbe and need to know this truth. Because on them, it's hard to have discussions to the Rebbe. In, in this present day, if you don't understand and know and realize that the Rebbe is just here, here in our world, in our life, just like he was in Toshin Mem, Toshin Lame, Toshin Chof, and Toshin Yud. So that's the, that's the, uh, that's the words that we, that we, that I think need to be articulated and explained to ourselves and to everyone else and to whoever we can explain this to. Uh, what does it mean? Who this, how is this uh, manifest itself in a chosid's life? I can say simply, learn the Rebbe Sichas as if he's, you know, nothing should change. 
but we're just we're, but we are anoshim kerkenu. You know, it's a it's a difficult, uh, it's a very difficult thing to relate today like we related thirty years ago. So the simple answer is taka harder. It's harder. Okay, well, therefore what? You're not going to do it. So the question is, if you, you know, if you have anything that you want to add to this, you know, to, to I, I think that what you were saying really describes perfectly ma zare b'chayim afhu b'chayim. Either seeing that chassidim are so devoted and so inspired and so alive is either proof that the, that the Rebbe is still or that's what it means. If Zare are Bahayim, then he is Bahayim. But it seems like there's another side. Ma Zare Bahayim means the way we react to him. But as we were talking uh, the other, in the other program, the Rebbe's Inyan was always Dira Betachtainen. Hu Bachayim means it hasn't changed. His life is still the same life he had before. And so you said it doesn't matter what Hu Bachayim means. The Alter Rebbe is not Bachayim. Every neshama, the neshama, chelik elakami mal. So it's b'chayim. What does it mean? Who b'chayim? What's the chiddush of of our Rebbe? Yeah, the chiddush is it's the chayim that he had before, and the chayim he had before was dira betachtenim, not ganeden. So let me. Let me understand what you're saying. In other words, let me crystallize or sharpen the question a little bit. You, you touched upon it yourself. The Al Rebbe wrote the Tanya, not about Deir Ashvi. He wrote that, that Perik in Geras Akedish. He wrote for a Yidva if a Tzadik was to give an Afil Nishkar Rebbe, not even a, a Nasi. He wasn't even a Nasi. Tzadik. Yeah, this, so it's true with every Tzadik. Yaakov Vinu Leimes. Uh, I mean, you don't say it by because it was a small because it was a okay. But after Yankee, you could say about every person. But the Rebbe says, No, there is a there's a there's a chidish, there's a there's a difference. It's important to understand the difference if it's Bukhal Shai between the, the when the Alter Rebbe says, Hu Bachayim, he doesn't so I don't think he uses that language, he uses the language of Yatim Chaye. That, uh, that he continues to live. That that the uh, Hubachaim and, and we'll use that language because that's what he means. But there's a the Alter Rebbe said it about Ramendla Radoka, and it's definitely true about the Alter Rebbe and the Mitzvah Rebbe and all the Rebbe. But Rebbe Zev was the Chiddush. In other words, so 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 what's the difference with our Rebbe? Was it's there's a deeper in you know there. What is the what is the Chiddush when we say that? Uh that a neshama is a nitzchi. The neshama bleib guns, right? Everything remains, nothing disappears. No energy disappears. The chiddush is, the neshama doesn't become energy. It remains the same personality. If he was, if he was a, uh, if he was a, a Rachman in, in his life, he's a, he's a Rachman in, in, in Ganeidin also. And if he was a tough guy in his life, he's a tough guy. And he is still here, not just a, psa, a generic Malach. The same is true with Afahu Bachayim from the children or Yatim Bachayei because what? what? Where, where's Anashama going to go? Doesn't end. But the third expression, Lo Yazif Tsein Marise, that, that is the most powerful of all. You're saying not only is he still alive, like every Nishama, not only is he relating to his kids, 
Mazari Bachayim, he never left his job. He is the shepherd, and a shepherd doesn't leave his sheep. Which means he is still a shepherd, you are still his sheep, he is still responsible. And what is he responsible? What do he take care of? What do he do for sheep? You give them what they can eat. So in that sense, that the Rebbe is still our shepherd. He didn't become a neshama in himu. He is what he was before, not just alive. So hu b'chayim means not that he survived. It's a different thing. He never quit. That's the word. Ganeden doesn't appeal to him. He's not interested. He's still committed and devoted to the same things he was committed to and devoted to while he was here. And that gives us access. If he's in Himmel, he will Christo. So you can get a bracha from him, of course. You can go to any holy place. I want to tell you one more thing about the Rebbe, which occurred to me only recently. This Sikha from the Friedrich Rebbe, amazing Sikha. He was at the airport in Riga. Airport? Port. Airport. Airport. He was leaving, he was leaving Russia, leaving Europe. But he flew from Riga to some other city in, in Russia, and there he took a train to the boat. Okay. So at the airport, he wanted to talk to the Chassidim, make a public, uh, lost. So he said to the Mordecai Chayfetz, tell them that nine hours ago, at the 2.30 in the morning, my father came to me, the Tate Gevem Bamir, and he has it what the Rebbe Rashab said, that it is, it's going to be good and it's going to be... Well. But around that time, before he left Riga, he was speaking to the Talmudim. And he was talking about being a soldier. Your soldiers. A soldier is a soldier even when he's sleeping. But then he said, a real soldier they send to the front. Unfortunately, front. Yes. You're not ready to be sent to the front lines. See, the Rebbe told us to who? The, the Rebbe Rashab told us to? No, no, no. The Friedrich Rebbe said it to the Talmudim. What? Uh -huh. Before he left Riga. Riga, right. In that famous Sikha, where the Rebbe said, I'm giving it over to you, Whatever, however we understood it when it first happened, Oh, it's terrible. What did the Rebbe say? It's, uh, the Rebbe said, I did everything I could do. The one thing I can do that is left, I can give it over to you. That is such an awesome statement. The Rebbe is saying, I didn't bring Mashiach. And I'm very upset about that. Hevel <laughs> Volodik. But what I did accomplish, I have who to give it over to. Not like the Friedrich Rebbe. The Friedrich Rebbe said, We can't noch nicht schicken auf den Front. The Rebbe said, Was ich kenn noch tun, give it over to you. It is such an amazing statement. And like you were saying, take a look. Was he right? We are ready to go to the front lines. 
Obviously. Obviously, yes. What does that mean? According to Chassidus, um, Esav was ready to bring Mashiach. And Yankiv said, uh, <laughs> go for it. Bring Zechdain Mashiach, I'm not. <laughs> I'll, I'll, uh, I'll go a little slower. Yeah. Esav could bring Mashiach. How? By the force of his personality. He had a very strong passion, and he was a very strong character. Okay, he said action. He could bring Mashiach. One person can change the world. No question. If you have enough passion and you have enough power, you can bring Mashiach. You can change the world. You see it in the, in the Le'umaz. Who changed the world in the 20th century? Ein Meshugina in Germany with very much passion stirred up the whole country and the whole world. And the other one in Russia, push it as bulldozer and whatever he wanted he got and, and that's how he changed the world. Lighting is a little bit. Huh? Lighting. Lighting on your Lighting. face. Yeah, yeah. So you can you can do that. You can bring Mashiach on the power of your personality, of your of your passion and your and your determination. Esau said, I can bring Mashiach like that. Yankiv said, uh, it's not my Mashiach. My Mashiach will take some time. People marvel. I heard the uh, Dershowitz was saying about the Rebbe. What gave him power? What was he, the head of a state? What, did he have an army? He controlled the media? He had a huge bank account? What gave him the power to, uh, to change the world? The biggest compliment to the Rebbe is he didn't use his passion. Chagas. And he didn't use his force. He could have pushed things. He didn't push. This is the MS. This is the truth. This is the reality that we're living in from God's perspective. And that one. Because of that, he had who to give it over to. Because the others, Asab's way, Tayhu, the Tayhu Mashiach, once, once the, the, the leader, the passionate guy is gone, the whole thing falls apart. The minute he shot himself, Nazism was finished. It was nothing. Once Stalin died, okay, it took 30 years. It was over. It was all him. then you don't have who to give it over to. When the Rebbe said, Ich kenn das Ibe geben Eich, it was, not, it was not a compliment to us, it was a compliment to him. He pushed it, brought out within everyone what was emes, what is real and undeniable. No gimmicks, no chachmalach, nothing. So to go to, to, to sum it up, on this last point that you made, or the one before this mamish last point, but the, the third inyam, which is Layazov is Say Marise. You're saying, if I understand correctly, that that's the Chiddush. Of Hubachayim of our Rebbe. Yeah. 
says that the Yatim Chayein who were Chayim as it's by every Nishon, certainly by Tzadikim, which is the life of the Munah Bevira. The same is by Yedin Tzad, and that, that's not the, what they're, they're not, the, the, says the, the, they have it there, influences in the world, for sure, Chayis, in some way. Like you say, Mekazi Betna, you know, you can go to Tamak and Kodesh, whatever, although we go to the Rebbe, but the point is, the Inu from the Yazid, in the Siyas, you know, the Nasi, the, the, the Nasi, which is the, the Rey and Nemon of our time, time, that's one Rebbe, and thus the, thus the Huba Chaim, as it manifests itself in our generation. I remember Abiel was for bringing about this, I mean, you're saying nothing changed the Rebbe, yeah. not the Yad Yate Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Something more than that. Yeah. Yeah. So, the fact that the Rebbe can give it over to us, that's the answer to the question how come everybody was so convinced that without the Rebbe, It'll all fall apart. Everybody will go back to being a private citizen, and the whole the whole thing will be over. How come it didn't end? No, it grew. For us, because Emmas is Emmas. The Rebbe said that we can change the world. It's true. The Rebbe said every Jew wants to be a better Jew and Vilton Mitzvah. It's true. It's true. No, if it's true, why is it going to change? It can only get stronger. Yeah. Lepoil. Lepoil, I think that every chassid Anyone who had any any inspiration from the Rebbe, even after Gimel Tamus, Pashit Mitzad Yeshe, just decency, we owe it to him. How can we not? You have to be you have to be a Cossack and have a heart of stone to say, well. You know, he tried his best, he worked hard, but you know, got my own problems now. <laughs> How can you do that? It's not menschlich. And I think people feel this. And, and it, be, it, would be, it would be good to express it. I think people feel it. Even people, Bachar and girls, who kind of dropped out, they feel like they're... they're They're doing, they're doing something wrong. What are they doing wrong? This is not what the Rebbe deserved. They know it. And I think that that's a very valid and a very real and a very true feeling. It's not emotionalism. A person does something for you. How do you, how do you turn your back? We, there's no question the Rebbe gave us a lot more than we give him. Not right. The least you can do. I'm talking about, about neshama zachen and uh, whatever that means to each person. People who never saw the Rebbe, never, after Gimel Tamas, they say, oh, I wish I, I wish I would have known. I wish I would have seen him. I wish I would. What is that? It's Menschlichkeit. A person who did that much, maybe not for you, for your family, for, for Am Yisrael. How do, you, how do you see that kind of devotion and not respond? It's Achzorius. So the fact that it's 26 years later, all the more reason. So what, are you going to keep him waiting another year? I mean, he doesn't deserve better than this. 
So to understand what the Rebbe did and then to pick it up and further it, that's, that's, well, let's end with this little story. You know, Fili Rebbe once asked, you know, Fili Rebbe was listening to a Fabrengen where the elder Chassidim, the great Chassidim came and they were Fabrengen and he heard them Fabrengen, what were they talking about? Vos is a chosid. And he was shocked. <laughs> he was six years old and he went to his uncle, I think it was the Razor, and he said, I can't believe this. I'm six years old and I know what a chosid is because my father told me last year. And these chosidim at the Langi Raisabel, they don't know what a chosid is. So the Razor said to him, what your father told you is what is a chosid. They're talking about what is a chosid. Okay. He didn't like the answer. Was a clean the chosid, a grace of chosid, should be the same thing. So finally, his father explained it to him. And the Rebbe Rashab actually said, A chosid was his iber gigeben, beleven nefesh zum Rebbe, das heist noch nicht diskashis. I forget the exact lotion, I don't even call that iskashis. Iskashis is the taich. You are completely devoted to the things that the Rebbe is devoted to. Which in simple language means to love the Rebbe in Nishken Chochme. You love him, you're devoted to him, you wish him well, you'll do anything he asks. Yeah, okay, why? Anybody would do that. That's not Iskashis. That's Ava. And he's lovable. So what's a finish? If you're devoted, like the Rebbe said, the Rebbe Rashab said, like a tree with its fruits. So Achosidu is devoted to the Rebbe. That's not a skashus. A skashus is a pshat. What is important to the Rebbe is important to you. So once the, the, a group of people wrote into the Rebbe, the Rebbe had been screaming about Miu Yehudi. So they wrote into the Rebbe that they are ready as a group to do whatever the Rebbe asked them to do on this Indian. The Rebbe's answer was, this is my Indian? You'll do whatever I ask you to do? This is my Indian? In your business, you ask me what to do or you stay up all night and figure it out? Iskash is at the pshat. The Rebbe asked you to put on film with people. So you do it because the Rebbe asked you. That's not Iskash. That's maybe obedience. Iskash is at the pshat. If you know a Jew who didn't put on film and it keeps you awake at night. Why should only the Rebbe stay up all night? So in Skashus of the Pshat, you are completely devoted to the things that matter to the Rebbe. Like the Rebbe says about the Dira B'Tachtenim, only the Ebrishta wants a Dira B'Tachtenim. And you don't care. Then you're not a Nefesh Alikis. If you're a chilek, a lekam imal, then you need a dira b'tachtenim just as much as the Ebishna. Which leads us to one final conclusion. Dira b'tachtenim means a marriage. Imagine a man says to a woman, let's build a home. So she goes to Home Depot <laughs> and loads up a truck, a truck of lumber and buys a hammer and nails and comes back. He said, what's it does? She said, you said you want to build a home. <laughs> 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 so she can't get out in the shidduch. 
they're not talking the same language. He's trying to be Edel. What, what he meant was, let's get married. He didn't mean become a carpenter. So when the Eberster says, make me a dira <laughs> what are you doing with a hammer and nails? What's, what's, what is this? Ah, he wants a dira betachtenim, so I have to build him one. What he wants? This is a marriage? If we get married, we'll need a place to live. Otherwise, what's that? Social distancing. <laughs> I need a place of my own without you. So, not he wants a and you're the carpenter who's going to make it for him. And then he'll pay you very nicely. This is terrible. Vushtetas and Zehar and Kisri Arizal. No. The Osuri Migdash. Vishachanti Besaycham. Come on, take a hint. That's what the Rebbe. The Rebbe was an incredible Shatchan. Like Moshe Rabbeinu. A Mamutza HaMachaber. He made the Dira Betachtenim into a marriage. Dira does negate what? A, a wife doesn't want to get married. Only the husband wants to get married. That's the end of Atat Yeah. Yeah. A grace, yeah, go ahead. Like in a good marriage, you don't sit around asking, What should I do? What should I do? You do. How can I get closer to the Rebbe? What kind of question is that? You know what he wants, you know what he devoted his life to. No, so what are you asking? It's like the Chassidim who said, you know, whatever the Rebbe wants us to do about me, Yehudi will do it. Shkoyach. That's a chosidu. Yeah. So we touched on uh, some very uh, sadistic topics. Come on. The union of Kuba Chaim, the Rebbe left Inuns, and the Rebbe's, like you brought from, you quoted Rabbi Yael before, that's Nash the Tanya, it's the whole different thing. Yeah. This is, uh, we'll leave it at that, but uh, it's a lot to talk about it still, obviously. You're saying that's the infinitely Yazib is say Marisa, that's the Ike Chidish over here. That's the Leb, that's the Leb, that's the Leb, okay? Stuff in the and as a result, how can you not respond? Okay, you know, you're not you're not Himuldik. The Rebbe is saying your headache still worries me. Your financial problems still worry me. I'm not interested in Gan Eden. I'm interested in Dira Betachtenim. In interesting thing. L'chayra, you can say, doesn't Tanya tell you a completely different story? Tanya says that the Tachlis HaKavone is that you should be a Benani. Isn't that what it says in Tanya? Yeah. L'chayra, no? The beginning of Tanya it says that. Ah, and what is the end? Hey, and further, Avedis Abeinanim is the 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 yeah the 
Deal is Baruch B'tachtenim, I guess. That's, uh... Yes. Mit Amol, the topic changes. B'shya b'nani, nishkem b'nani, ze kola odom, v'tachlus b'yosei. All of a sudden, it's about the Ibishta. So that's the way the Rebbe saw the Tanya. I feel that the Tanya, you have to learn the Rebbe's way. Since you're the Deir Ashri, you have to learn Tanya like a Deir Ashri. So you could say the beginning of Tanya, that was Deir Harishon. Middle of Tanya was the other Deiris. When it comes to the Deir Hashvi of Tanya, in other words, the end of Tanya, Mitamol vos beinani vos haksta chayne meka dira betachtene kol yisrael and kol misha who is it yesh le lismeya besimcha sash zayn zaynish kem beinani meyat nishregen dir you're not the topic anymore we're not trying to elevate you and fix you and make you higher now is the ibishta's turn. But what to think about the grace in Shakeh Ramanis. Main thing is I'm so uh machin them dear but achtainim and so zeh sein zen the bram gorin gichen share sit kane we call of mamish. The main thing is we should do what we're talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>